Good morning guys! What's up? It's 6.23 a.m. The sun didn't even rise yet, so it's like pretty dark. I'm headed to the Sephora VIB Rouge event in Times Square, the one on 1500 Broadway. Um, I'm really excited because they're gonna be having a whole bunch of new makeup releases and you guys know I need to be there, so I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and take the train. Um, I was up since like 5.30 this morning, so I need like 65 cups of coffee right now. But um, I'm really excited. Let's go and uh, let's have some fun. While I'm walking though, I want to show you guys my adorable outfit because it's just so chill. So I have this shirt that I got from H&M. I just tucked it into this denim little baby delicious skirt. Then I have this really cute purse. Yo, it feels amazing. No one's outside. I own this world. Um, I got have this adorable purse from Forever 21. It looks like it's 600 bucks, but it was 20. I do get a bunch of questions in regards to why I always have a sock. It's because it's my case for my camera. The well, lighting is so much better here. Um, I haven't had a chance to buy one, and honestly, everything is huge. Like. In Best Buy, whatever. Okay, let's go. This is not even interesting. Come on, let's just go to Sephora. You're here in Duncan, right? It is a classic made from 100% real. Mm. Okay, so here's a setup of everything. So exciting, we're gonna get through everything in a second. It's so loud over here. They were giving me issues recording and I'm like, please. So here we have some sets. Oh my God, so cool. And then here's the next row of stuff. So excited, Nar is so excited. Alright, first thing that I see here is from Tarte. I already purchased these online, guys. I'm sorry it's so loud in here. Um, so I'm not gonna purchase this obviously again, but here is the pineapple palette for holiday. We have face products on this side and then a whole bunch of different eyeshadows here. Stay tuned for a review on this because I have it at home and it's so far so good. Me. You can't, well, you can't film, film in here. She said I could. You said you just want to take pictures of the product, so it's like just not live recording. Up, but it's not like I'm doing the whole thing. I'm just taking up the product. No, you can take pictures. She said you take pictures, you just can't film. She told me that I could film. I, I thought you meant pictures. You can take pictures of the product. I filmed last year and they were totally fine with it. Can I just do another 10 set, like three more minutes? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do any filming, but you can take pictures. Okay, I must tell you guys that I just had probably one of the worst shopping experiences at Sephora. The girls there were, you know when someone's trying to be nice, but they're like, um, no. It's like, calm down. And then I went to the cash register. I had to return something for my sister-in-law. And the lady behind the counter was like, um, excuse me, this is just how we do it, okay, in the store? Because I was returning something and I'm like, can I get like gift card because that's what they always give me a gift card that I could use online or in store and she's like um no we only do store credit and I was like whoa the attitude what time is it at like 8.50 a.m. Who are you? Who are you? You know? Anyway, um, also in regards to the recording, I wasn't able to record much. I mean, they weren't being too catty about that, but I mean, last year I was able to record and it didn't give me any issues. I just had a really bad experience, especially in the morning. It's not going to get to me because it's like, who are you, please? But um, it's just kind of disgusting, I should say, to even see people act that way or speak in such a specific way. Um, I don't know if you got up on the wrong side of the bed, but don't put it out on me! Woo! Anyways, I didn't end up picking up too many stuff because I purchased a few things online and honestly there wasn't so many products to choose from. Last year they had a bigger selection, but let me just quickly show you guys what I picked up and then I'll do a haul um, later on this week with everything, everything that I picked up online and then everything that I have here, so stay tuned for that. But I picked up this um, Beauty Blender little set. It's so cute, it's like poker style. I don't know, I love the Beauty Blender. It's my favorite sponge ever. It was a bit pricey, 65 bucks, but it's probably gonna last me a solid year because I 
I go through a beauty blender like every two or three months. But I clean it, so we're good. Um, if you shop then you got and you spend over like 50 bucks, you get this really cute makeup bag, which is mainly one of the reasons why I came. But the experience was like shit. Um, then I went ahead and purchased um, this little macaroon set by um, Becca. So cute! Look at this little set. It comes with four baby little highlighters. I'll share with you guys swatches, of course, when I do my actual haul. But the packaging is spot on. And then. I finally picked up this NARS Little Orgasm Infatuation Cheek Palette. It comes with a highlighter, blush, and bronzer. Very excited. The packaging is like hardcore. Let me show you guys one second. Look at how crazy this looks. It's so pretty. I'm so excited for the rest of the products that are going to release from this collection. So yay. Anyways, I feel like this video was kind of a blur. My mood is kind of like ugh now because it's just like whatever. But I mean, I'm not going to let it get to me because I don't care. But it's just weird to see people act like that, you know? It's like, really? How old are you? <laughs> Anyways, I still hope you guys enjoyed the whole process of me coming here, getting on the train with me, kind of looking through some stuff at Sephora. Um, but we'll have some exciting videos coming up this week, even though this one was kind of a like downer. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. 